Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ruth and this is my vlog. I'm here with my friends Mariah and Yaya. Um, we're going to be doing something today that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. Um, I've seen all of the snack crates and the universal yums and I wanted to do that, but I'm too broke to do that. So, instead I went to the world market and I got a bunch of foods that I thought either looked interesting or that I've been wanting to try but haven't tried. So, we're going to do that today. This is going to be a little bit interesting. Uh, we're going to start out oh with gosh. some anchovies. If you guys have seen my first couple videos, um, you know that I am all about all things weird. And, uh... It already smells bad. I don't want to... It smells a little weird. I, I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. It actually looks good. It looks interesting, definitely. Well, it smells like the cat food. All right, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Uh, it's not that bad. It's just really salty fish. Yeah, like I a little bit like is fine. All right. Oh, I can still taste here. it in my teeth. Okay, it literally tastes like I freaking just grabbed my cat's food and just ate it for myself. Just, I mm. Mm. Oh, I okay, so, well, that was interesting to say the least. Uh, very salty. Kind of tasted like cat food. Like, imagine eating tuna, but like somebody took the whole salt container and dumped it in there. No, imagine taking your cat's wet food and just eating it with a spoon. That's what it is. <laughs> Um, so next, we're going to kind of stay on the fish, mm. um, sardines and tomato sauce. I've always wanted to try sardines, but I've been a little too nervous, and so I figured, why the heck not, we'll just do this on camera. And do they we'll have the food. heads on them? I don't know, we'll find out. Nope. I thought they were so much smaller. Oh, it actually doesn't smell too bad. It actually, like, literally smells like tuna. Go for it, Momo. <laughs> They're hollow on the inside. Alright, I'm gonna take a decent sized chunk here. Okay, go bigger, go home. I'm. <laughs> Are you gonna eat the whole thing? Do it. Do it. Do it. It actually, like, legit smells like tuna. I'm, I'm kind of excited. Alright, one, two, three. It tastes like tuna! It does. It's actually really good. I feel like I'm, I'm, legit, I'm legit liking this. Well, this definitely wasn't a fail like I thought it would be. Anchovies definitely a fail. Sardines, not too bad. Delicious. Ew, ew, ew. Mm. I'm saving these for later. You guys are disgusting. Oh my gosh, it's so good though. It's good. Alright. <laughs> so we're done with the fish now. <sighs> Thank God. We are going to go on to Japanese style taro mochi. I probably oh. botched that, but. I don't think I'm going to like these. Do you know how to say this? <laughs> Please help. Pronounce things. Yeah, right. leave comments in the down below. Leave comments down below how to say that that word. M O C H I. I'm owning with it's pronounced mochiki. Mochiki? <laughs> Is that like rafiki? <laughs> <laughs> Scissors? Mm. A six. No, not. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that too. So they look kind of like, I don't know, jelly cakes. Yeah, they do. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I think it's like a prune. I'm gonna wrinkle the box, on the outside. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Mm, I can't read Japanese, <laughs> so we don't know what these are. But it's like squishy, kind of like a gummy, but it's softer. That's I say we do it in one bite. Deal. No. What? <laughs> one, two, three. No flavor so far. Mm. It kind of does taste like prunes. Mm -hmm. It's stuck in my bottom lip. It's really gummy. Mm hmm. I don't like this either. This is a sweet tradition, uh, tree what? traditionally eaten in celebration of the Japanese New Year. Woo! New Year! Yeah. It's like 
a gummy prune. It's not bad. Definitely wouldn't eat it in one bite again. It's like shoving a whole cupcake in your mouth. Like, what's the purpose? That's actually fun, though. This stuff just kind of, like, gums up your mouth and you can't really chew it. I don't like it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go back to yeah. kind of a savory. So this is Wagyu beef steak strip. Wagyu. So it looks like a jerky stick. I feel like this one's like, hopefully let's hope I want to try good. buffalo. Like, I feel like that would be Buffalo's good. not too bad. And I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, um, there's a couple different ones in this brand. And I've tried wild boar and I think the buffalo. And they were okay. I say we eat this next. I yeah. don't think I want to try it solo. Do I just break it off? Yeah, <laughs> break it off. I feel like Yaya is actually going to enjoy this for once. Well, I hope so. It smells delicious. It smells like a uh, jerky strip. I actually don't like jerky, so... <laughs> what What is there that you do like? I don't know. <laughs> so far, nothing. Alright, one, two, three. Tastes like beef jerky. It's really not as chewy as I thought it would be. Like I thought it would be like tough. Yeah. But it's kind of just. Uh, it's definitely uh, more tender. It literally tastes like beef jerky, so I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. It's beef jerky. All right. Um, what should we try next? Violet crumble. Uh, this is a Nestle snack. Delicious shattering. Chalk coated, oh, chocolate coated honeycomb. Ooh. Oh, it's from Australia. Yeah. Cool. We all watch, like Australia, right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that looks interesting. Whoa, it's, it's so like light. It's big. One, two, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just can wait. Whoa, go like this and it like melts. Like, your saliva makes it melt. Whoa, and I just had deja vu. I feel like I've had this before. It's like, it tastes good, but it feels like it's just it's styrofoam. Like, yeah, I don't like chocolate. the texture. It's like Butterfingers, only soft and foamy instead of crunchy and crumbly. I, but still a little bit of crunch. I don't understand. I, it says the way it shatters. Way it shatters. Where does it shatter? <laughs> wow. <laughs> like I don't like the texture. It's like... I like it. I'm trying to think. I know I've had something with this texture before. Just can't think of it. This is by far my favorite because it does it's not good. taste like beef jerky and it does not taste like cat food. <laughs> All right. Milk chocolate tonics tea cakes. I think I've actually seen these in like a snack crate or Universal Yums. Oh. <laughs> Definitely had some issues opening things today. They're really light. Yeah, they are. They're actually heavier than I thought. Really? Mm-hmm. A not delicious good. biscuit base topped with marshmallow and covered with real milk chocolate. Ooh, I don't like marshmallow, but I think I could like this. Straight up Is there tea in this? Like, no. It's like a, tea, a eat cake, with tea. Yeah, that you have with tea. Alright. Whoa. I One, put my finger in it. Two, three. The biscuit's really soft, like almost stale. It's like really hollow. Like. You'd think that it's like a solid, like, puff dollop of marshmallow, but it's like, it's literally hollow. It's like a, a cone. It's like a not, dome. Dome. That's that's what I'm looking for. Oh, and it's like the marshmallow's like gooey. It's not like gooey. <laughs> like it's like sticky. It's pretty good. I can dig it. One more thing. One more. It is. Sioux City Prickly Pear Soda, made with real cane sugar. Woo! Whoa. Ooh, it smells interesting. Is it made from like real oh, cactus? I still smell the fish. Yeah, prickly pear cactus. Whoa. Mm. It smells interesting. That is a weird smell. It smells like, like planty, like grassy, like blackberries, like like you know when you pick blackberries. Alright, one, two, three. Oh my god. It's definitely interesting. Like, I don't even know how to explain this. It reminds me of a candy. 
Like it's, almost like a mix between watermelon and like It's like a sweet tart. Like it a, does like taste like a sweet tart, like the strawberry ones. I don't know, to me it tastes like a like a cherry like warhead without the sour part. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. It's good. It it's like sweet at first, but then you get like this tart tangy flavor. Definitely a nine out of ten. It's got sort of a weird smell to it. It could just be my yeah. cup though. No, it's definitely a drink. Yeah. I feel like I would drink this again. Yeah. What was your favorite? I, like I definitely like the violet crumble. Yeah, that was good. I think the tea cakes had too much marshmallow. I don't know. I think I would do the tea cakes. Tea cakes are good. <laughs> that's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the first time anyone's given me a 10. The mochi was definitely a little too chewy. Yeah, I don't think I could, would do the mochi. The sardines were pretty good. The anchovies were absolutely disgusting. Yeah, the anchovies... Uh, like, the anchov negative 10 out of 10 would not do anchovies ever again. Oh, and the, the jerky stick? Oh yeah, yeah the, I could do that. The jerky was pretty good. I think the violet crumble was my, like my favorite sweet thing. And then the sardines were like my favorite savory, but... Well, um, I hated this. I hated these. She literally hated everything except for the violet crumble. The tea cakes were okay. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know down below if you've had any of these. Like this video, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified of my uploads, and we'll see you next time.